So, of course, just to remind you that you can relive the action via the Swim England Hertfordshire YouTube channel. Catch up on all of those events. See maybe an event of where you did well, or, or indeed possibly not so well, and where there might be room for improvement. But of course, as well, you can keep up to date with the live results via Sports Systems, which is available on the Swim England Hertfordshire Twitter page and website. And you can look at all the results from the County Championships 2022. We now move on to event 651, the mixed age group 200 meter freestyle relay team. In lane number eight is Chessant. Oh, come on, big, big, larger round of applause than that, please. Come on. In lane number one is Chessant B. In lane number seven, we have Royston. In lane number two, we have Harpenden. In lane number six, we have Ware. In lane number three, we have Tring. In lane number five, we have Verulam. And in lane number four, we have the city of St. Albans B. Ladies and gentlemen, this is heat one of the mixed stage group. 200 meter freestyle relay team. Over to you, referee. All up to the first relay of this session then. The mixed age group 200 meter free star team relay. And it looks to be a very strong start from the city of St. Albans B in lane at number four. They're turning first. Tring in lane three, not too far behind. But coming up on the outside is Royston as they come to the first turn. The city of St. Albans looks ready to go in and he's going to be touching first, 30.41, Royston in second, Tring goes in third, not much in it there at all between these swimmers, less than two seconds, Chessons are in fourth, but still leading the way here is the city of St Albans B in lane and four, the swimmer at the moment is Chai Kin Lau, as he comes in to the final five metres for his leg, as we approach the halfway stage. The City of St. Albans B still in front, 101.36. Royston nearly five, over five seconds behind them in lane number seven. Tring is still in third. Chesson B is in front of Chesson A in fourth and fifth respectively. But it doesn't seem like anyone is going to be able to catch the City of St. Albans B in lane number four. as Isla Black awaits to go into the water, and there she is, 113.31. That's the 150 meter split. Isla Black of the city of St. Albans powering away from the rest of the cohort here. Tring and Royston in contention for second position. Chesson now moving up into fourth, but the city of St. Albans B is going to be taking victory in this first relay event. 6-5-1, the mixed age group, 200 meter freestyle team. And they're going to be touching now on a time of 2.05.62. That is a fantastic time for them. A personal best it would seem for that relay team. Second goes to 
structuring there. 216.38 and Royson managed to get third. 219.09 as we await the final swimmers, but no one was able to catch the city of St. Albans B team. Uh, swimmers, if you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the side and scoreboard side, if you wouldn't mind. So over there, don't look at me. And if the swimmers who have already competed, if they wouldn't mind exiting poolside, going back up to the stands, that would be most appreciated. As we prepare to move on to heat number two. So we move on to heat number two of the mixed stage group 200 metre freestyle team relay. In lane number eight, we have Stevich. In lane number one, we have Watford. In lane seven, Potters Bar. In lane number two, Hatfield B. In lane six, Hell Hempstead. In lane number three, the city of St. Albans. In lane number five, Hatfield. And in lane number four, we have Bishop Stortford. Ladies and gentlemen, this is heat number two of the mixed stage group 200 meter freestyle team relay. Over to you, referee. A strong start there from Louis Robson of the City of St. Albans in lane number three, pushing his team into first position, but there's still all to play for. At the turn then, who's turning first? It looks to be Dylan Davenport of Bishop Stalford there in lane number four. The City of St. Albans in second, Hatfield in third. But as we come to the first takeover here, it is Bishop Stalford who are in the lead. Touching on 29.55. Louis Robson of the City of St. Albans in second, 29.78. And in third is Hatfield in lane number five. But it's very tight between these three in the middle. The City of St. Albans, Bishop Saltford and Hatfield in three, four and five. As these swimmers approach the halfway stage. I have a notice of disqualification. That's a notice of disqualification for event 651, heat one, lane three, for a technical infraction. That's a disqualification for event 651, heat one, lane three, for a technical infraction. And returning to heat number one, heat number two, I do apologize. It is Hatfield who has taken the lead. Not by very much though, it must be said, by point one six. Bishop Stalford in second, City of St. Albans in third, but it's going to be a battle between Hatfield and Bishop Stalford. Hatfield starting to push through here, starting to look incredibly strong on that. They come into the final five meters here. Hatfield are going to be taking the win on this one. And they're going to be touching, I think it goes sub two minutes. Indeed they do, 159.24. Bishop Stalford are in second there, 201.02. And I'm not entirely sure about third position there, but of course we will await confirmation of the official result from the referee. So if you wouldn't mind vacating the water via the scoreboard side, and that of course goes for all of those who are on board side as well. If you wouldn't mind returning to the stands and I do believe that the top eight are going to be having to swim that event again in due course 
No, they don't. I'm reliably informed. Because, thank you very much, it is not a championship event. Well, we'll get there eventually. We now move on to event 653, the Mixed Junior 200 meter medley relay team. In leg number five, we have Chesson. In lane number three, we have Chesson B. Are Chesson B, are you there? Marvellous, uh, jolly good. And in lane number four, we have Tring. Ladies and gentlemen, heat number one of the junior 200 meter medley team relay. As you can see, only two swimmers in this first heat of the Vix Junior 200 meter medley team relay. Tring in lane four and Chesson in lane number five. I see they've gone for different tactics here. They've, Tring have put Reese Jones in first. Chesson have put Grace Sofiels and Amos in first. And the tables will be turning as Katrina Dalton of Tring dives in there, as does Alfie Bullock of Chessons. Will Alfie be able to make up this lost ground? We shall soon find out. But as many know, that breaststroke is ultimately the decider on, on an individual medley or indeed a medley team relay. If you've got a very strong breaststroke swimmer, then it certainly will help you get into those top positions, but it looks like Katrina Dalton of Tring is managing to hold off any threat from Alfie. A very good fly length here from Charlotte Finch of Tring in lane number four. Widening the gap between Tring and Chesson in lane number five as we move now to the final length, which is, well, final leg, which is the freestyle leg. And Tring there, touching first, 216.01. And of course, second is going to go to Chesson here. What time are they going to be touching it on? 225.38. Well done, swimmers, if you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the scoreboard side. Thank you. We now move on to heat number two. In lane number seven, we have Verulam. In lane one, Harpenden. In lane number six, we have Bushy. In lane number two, Ware. In 
In lane number five, we have Royston. In lane three, we have Stevenage. And in lane number four, we have Potter's Bar. Over to you, referee. A very good start here from Potter's Bar, and that swimmer is Kobe Cornwell in lane of four. What a backstroke led that he is having. Really creating a very good distance between him and the next competitor, of which is Stevenage in lane three, and Jessica Dunnett of Stevenage. Potter's Bar touching first, Stevenage in second, Bushy in third. And it would certainly would seem that Potter's Bar have, have strategically placed this relay team. They're having a fantastic first leg. They're having a great first half. Will they be able to keep that up on the second? There's a little bit of distance now between them and Stevenage. As Gabriela Gomez Paymon of Potter's Bar dives in for the fly leg. Stevenage now seven seconds behind. Bushy closely following them, as is Harpenden in lane one, who's in fourth position here. But it doesn't seem like anyone will be able to catch Potter's Bar as they prepare to go on to their final leg of this heat number two of the mixed junior 200 meters. Medley team relay 137.93. But it is going to be a very close run thing between Bushy and where they're not much in it at the turn between second and third. But Potter's Bar, no one's going to be able to catch them. A fantastically strong start from them, and they've managed to have that continuation right through the race. Final five meters now for Potter's Bar. And they touch first, 208.44. Second looks like it's going to be going to where in lane number two, 215.65. Bushy just managed to get in there in third position, 216.1. Please exit the pool via the scoreboard side. So as if you wouldn't mind going that way. And if we wouldn't mind having those who have already swum to vacate the pool side, that would be most appreciated so that we can move swiftly on. We now move on to heat number three. In lane eight, we have the city of St. Albans B. In lane one, Hatfield B. In lane seven, we have Watford B. In lane number two, Hatfield. In lane number six, the city of St. Albans. In lane number three, Bishop Stalford. In lane five, Watford. And in lane number four, Hemel Hempstead. Over to you, referee.
Rafferty May of Watford there having a great backstroke start. He's propelled his team to in the lead at that turn, but very closely followed by Hemel Hempstead and Bishop Stalford in lanes number four and lanes number three. At the turn then, how close is it going to be between Watford and Bishop Stalford? Watford in first, 30.07. Bishop Stalford second, Hatfield B in third. Still all to play for here, but Watford's Jeffrey Gill on the breaststroke leg. Looking like he's doing a great job here to hold the lead for Watford. But in third, of course, Bishop Stortford for... Still in front, though. Watford at the halfway stage. Bishop Stortford, and then we've got the two Hatfield teams in one and two. But no one is able to catch Watford at this moment in time. Bishop Stalford still in second. Hatfield in first. Hatfield B in fourth. But looking onto the fly leg here, will the gap between Bishop Stalford, Hatfield A and Hatfield B close? We will see. But it does look like Watford are just managing to hold on. But coming for Bishop Stalford here is George Taylor, who has managed to close the gap. It's going to be now on the last swimmer. Who has the most in the tank? It does look like Watford swimmer there. Victoria Daly, she had a great start, really ensuring that she was propelled as far as possible. But coming down onto the home straight here, it's going to be incredibly tight. Watford seems to be away. Bishop Stalford, Hatfield A and Hatfield B are all in a race for second and third. Who's going to get the touch here? Oh, goodness me. Hatfield B in second and Bishop Stalford in third. Good, and Hatfield A in fourth. Now that was incredibly exciting on that back end. That last 50 metre really shook things up here in Borehamwood. But so those, if you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the side and those on poolside vacating poolside as quickly as possible, thank you. We now move on to event 653, the Mixed Championship 4x50 meter freestyle team relay. In lane number eight, Chessant. In lane number one, Ware. In lane number seven, we have Tring. In lane two, Stevenage. In lane number six, Harpenden. In lane number three, we're joined by Bushy. In lane number five, the city of St. Albans. And in lane number four, Watford. Over to you, referee. Very interesting that all of the teams here have started with a male, bar one, that must be said. But starting there for Watford is Benjamin Green, Nathaniel Mapley for the City of St. Albans in five, Ashley Coombs for Bushy in lane number three, and it looks like Ashley Coombs here in lane three, powering his team into first place after the first 50. Bushy in first, Watford second, City of St Albans third, Stevenage in Harpenden in fourth and fifth. But taking the lead for Watford here is Lewis Shaler in lane number four. 
Armin Rodriguez for the City of St. Albans in third. Bushies, Thomas Jobson in four and third here. But at the halfway stage now, we're, we're touching here for Watford. Abigail Green goes in. Ore Mara for City of St. Albans. Rebecca Kerwan for Bushy. And it's very tight now between Bushy, Watford and the City of St. Albans here in three, four and five. Watford's Abigail Green seems to be managing to hold off any threat from Ere Mara, but that's not the case anymore. Ellie Hollis for the City of St. Albans now, touching for the City of St. Albans. She's in the water now. Sophia Bache for Watford in second. Alison Binns in third for Bushy. But Ellie Hollis for the City of St. Albans turns first. She looks like she's going to be winning this, holding off any threat from S Sophia Bache. Alison Binns taking second, overtaking Sophia Bache here. It's going to be very tight for second, but Ellie Hollis touches there. 144.72 for the City of St. Albans. Bushy in second and Watford in third. Jolly good stuff there. If you wouldn't mind exiting the ball via the side so that we can swiftly move on to heat number two. If we wouldn't mind not congregating over by the pool store, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Moving on then to heat number two. In lane number eight, we have Verulam. In lane number one, Royston. In lane seven, Hoddeston. In lane number two, the city of St. Albans B. In lane number six, Potter's Bar. In lane three, Hemel Hempstead. In lane number five, we have Hatfield. And in lane number four, Bishop Stortford. This is heat number two. Over to you, referee. Alan Davis of Bishop Stortford, what, what a start from him. He's joined by Mateus Morse in lane two, Guy Munster in lane number two, uh, and Charlotte Williams in lane number five of Hatfield, but Potter's Bar's Noah's Cornwell is doing very well to keep up with Callum Davis at the, at the touch then. Bishop Stortford just get that by point one. Potter's Bar in second, Hemel Hempstead are in third there. But now Potter's Bar really starting to move. Georgina Talon in the water for them. Millie Fields in the water for Bishop Stortford here. Over in lane number two, William Lubman for the city of St. Albans, bringing them into first and pole position. But Potter's Bar are able just by 0 0.05 to get in front of the city of St. Albans. Bishop Stortford still in third. Hatfield in fourth here. 
Jessica Wooper though for Hatfield certainly will be pulling them up the rankings here and indeed she is. Take a look at that. Hatfield have gone from fourth to nearly first, but Hemel Hempstead here, Reese Housen is in now in first position. Hatfield in second. City of St Albans staying in third with Potters Bar dropping down to fourth. The final length here at this turn and it's going to be so incredibly tight here between Hemel Hempstead, the City of St Albans, Bishop Stortman, Hatfield and Potters Bar. Look at this! It is going to be so incredibly tight. It looks like Hatfield might just have it. But no, they don't. Potters Bar take the win there. 145.56. Bishop Stortford touch second. Not too much in it there at all. And Hatfield in third. But that was the closest relay we've had thus far today. Gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the side to the scoreboard end, so that way. And some of if you could exit the poolside as quickly as possible. We now move on to event 654, the women's age group 200 meter freestyle team relay. In lane number seven, Chessant. In lane number two, we have Tring. In lane six, Royston. In lane number three, we have Ware. In lane five, Harpenden. And in lane number four, we have the city of St. Albans B. Over to you, referee. And in they go for the 4 by 50 meter freestyle team relay. At the turn, it looks like Royston and Sophie Williams has put them in pole position here. Second is looking like Maya Rubenu of Chessant. Third is Harpenden's Madeline, Madeline Conway. But at the turn then, who's going to get that touch after the first 50? Royston in first, Chessant in second, Tring are in third. So we're at the halfway stage then. Let's see the scores on the doors. F touching first is Royston, Harpenden in second, Tring in third. It would appear that Royston's touch hasn't registered on the pad. But I can indeed confirm, ladies and gentlemen, as can you watching on the screen, that Royston are currently in first position, but it's a very close run-of-the-mill thing between them, Harpenden, and the city of St Albans in lanes five and four. We've got one 50 metre left to swim, one leg left, Royston is still in first, Harpenden in second, the city of St Albans, Costa B in third,
and how close is this? Royston still in first, only by a fraction. Harpenden in second, the City of St Albans in third. I think they're going to be finishing in that order. Indeed they do. Royston touch first, 220.33. City of St Albans B in second, 222.04, and Harpenden touch in second there, 220.33. Of course, we will await confirmation of that official result. I do believe that the we may have an issue with the timing pads. But so as if you wouldn't mind exiting the ball via the side, thank you. We now move on to heat number two in lane eight, Verulam. In lane number one, we have Watford. In lane number seven, the city of St Albans. In lane two, Stevenage. In lane number six, Potter's Bar. In lane three, Bishop Stalford. In lane number five, Hatfield B. And in lane number four, Hatfield. Over to you, referee. On to heat number two then, leading the way from the start is Hatfield in lane number four. Closely followed by their teammates, Hatfield B in five and Bishop Stortford in lane number three there. At the turn there's not much in it between Hatfield and Bishop Stortford in four and three. But after the first leg, after the first 50, Hatfield looked to be in command of this race thus far. 30.37. Bishop Stalford in second. Potter's Bar in third. Progressing through this second leg though, it seems that the gap has shortened, has closed between Bishop Stalford and Hatfield. Hatfield are just in front at this moment in time, but they are no longer commanding the race by any means at all. They're touching almost simultaneously there, not much in it at all between them. Potter's Bar in third, Costa in fourth, but now we're starting to see a little bit of distance between Hatfield and Bishop Stalford in four and three here. Honor Beverstock of Hatfield creating that distance for them. Imogen Bell of Bishop Stalford doing her best to maintain her team's position. But Hatfield are going to be coming into this final 50 meters much stronger than they started it. Bishop Stalford now in third, three seconds at least behind Hatfield. Potter's Bar in third, Hatfield B are now in fourth. But it is going to be Hatfield in lane number four. I don't think 
that Zoe Opayuyu will be able to catch up with Ella Ives of Hatfield as she comes into her final few strokes here. Her time is going to be a 2.02.71. Hatfield comfortably taking the win here. Bishop Stalford there, nearly five seconds behind, 2.07.1. And third there goes to Potter's Bar, 2.10.09. Thank you, Sewers. If you can exit the pool via the sides, the scoreboard sides, thank you. We now move on to event 655, the men's junior 4x50 meter medley team relay. In lane number eight, we have Tring. In lane number one, we have Ware. In lane seven, Royston. In lane number two, Stevenage. In lane number six, Verulam. In lane three, Hoddeston B. In lane five, Bushy. And in lane number four, Harpenden. Over to you, referee. Maxwell Huizier of Holliston putting his team in the lead in lane number three, but they're followed in lane five by Bushy and in lane number four by Harpenden. And of course, don't forget on the outside, Tring in lane number eight, who seem to be in pole position at the moment. It's going to be very, very tight between these three clubs. But Bushy are touching first. Tring in second, Hoddeston B in third. But have a look at lane, in lane number three, Hoddeston B. That stroke rate, that is a sprint stroke rate for breaststroke there. That's put them in the lead as we approach the halfway mark. Bushy are still in second. Third is a little bit more dubious, but it looks like it at the moment is Royston. But it could be between Harpenden, Royston, Verulam and Tring. They're still all to play for. But back at the front, it is Bushy who are in the lead. Hoddeston B not too far behind, about less than a second, 0.9 possibly. Royston, Harpenden and Tring almost turning simultaneously here. But as is Hoddeston and Bushy, and now Harpenden as well, goodness me, it's going to be an absolutely riveting last leg here. Harpenden seems to have come into the first position here. They're going to be turning there. I don't know about that start though, but 
We move on in lane five. Bushy are in lane number five. They seem to be catching up. Hodasimbi dropping back down into third, but Harpenden still seem to be in front. It's going to be very, very tight as they come up for the final length. Bushy now are really starting to move. They're going to be taking first position here in this heat number one. 214.13 for Bushy. Harpenden, they went in first, they came out second, 215.28. It would seem that Nathan Tang did all he could to sustain Harpenden's position, but Bushy's Sam Ryan just managed to beat him there. Holliston B touching in third. So, Summers, if you wouldn't mind vacating the ball via the side. We now move on to heat number two. In lane number eight, the city of St. Albans. In lane one, Potter's Bar. In lane number seven, Hatfield B. In lane number two, Bishop Stortford. In lane six, Hoddeston. In lane three, Hemel Hempstead. In lane number five, Hatfield. And in lane number four, Watford. Over to you, referee. A powerful start there from Watford's Rafferty May. He's joined to his left right by Oliver Baskerville of Hatfield and to his left James Gibson of Hemel Hempstead. But it would seem that Rafferty May of Watford is setting them up for a very good prospect as he completes his leg of this 4x50 metre medley team relay. Watford are in first, Bishop Stortford second, Hatfield in third. But Lucas Hartley certainly is not having any of that. Benjamin Taggart doing his best to maintain Watford's lead. But Lucas Hartley of Hatfield really closing down that lead here in lane number five. Up then, it's very, very tight between these two sewers. Lucas Hartley looks like he's just putting in front of Watford here, making sure that Hatfield are going to be going into the halfway stage in pole position here. Hatfield are in first, Watford are in second, Hodderston still in third. Can Watford beat Hatfield with 75 metres to go? It's look, looking like a very strong swim from Joseph McNulty here in lane number four. Hugo Rebicek Smith of Hatfield doing his best to sustain that lead that was built up, but it does look like 
Joseph McNulty has ensured that the tables have been turned. Watford touch first, Hatfield in second, Hoddesdon in third. But it's going to be oh so tight here. Daniel Beasley of Hatfield, what Jeffrey Gill of Watford in lane number four. Look at that, it looks like Jeffrey Gill of Watford is going to be able to hold on to this lead, going to be able to declare victory for Watford here. And he touches there, two minutes point one for Hatfield in second, 201.62. So, so close. But Watford just had that better edge, particularly on that second half. Gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the side, thank you. We now move on to event 656, the Women's Championship 200 meter freestyle team relay. In lane number one, we have Ware. In lane number seven, we have the city of St. Albans B. In lane two, Royston. In lane number six, we have Harpenden. In lane three, Stevenage. In lane number five, Watford. And in lane number four, Bishop Salford. Over to you, referee. I have a notice of disqualification. That's a notice of disqualification for event 655, heat one, lane one for a technical infraction. That's event 655, heat one, lane one. And I have another notice of disqualification, event 655, heat one, lane eight for a technical infraction. That's event 655, heat one, lane eight for a technical infraction. Focusing our attention then back to the championship four by 50 meter freestyle team relay. Bishop Stalford here in the lead. Harpenden in second, Watford in third. And it looks like Millie Fields and Emma Fields of Bishop Stalford did a really good job of making sure that they were in prime position. They were in control and command of the race. But Watford's Francesca Pache is coming up on her right hand side. Neve James, uh, Bishop Stalford, a very capable swimmer. She's had a fantastic few weekends here at the Hertfordshire County Championships. No doubt she'll be able to hold off any threat which Amy Borum and Isabella Chapman throw at her from Watford and Harpenden. Look at that. That gap has simply increased as Neve James jumped into the pool. She's going to be searching first for Bishop Stalford here. What's the time going to be? 152.49. Second is going to be so close there. Oh, goodness me. 0.18 in between. Watford touching second. Harpenden in third. I can hear the, hear the deep concerns of the coach behind me. 
Fourth goes to Stevenage, fifth to the city of St. Albans B, and that concludes heat number one. If you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the side. We now move on to heat number two of the Championship Women 200 metre freestyle team relay in Lady Marie Verulam. In lane number one, we have Watford B. In lane seven, Bushy. In lane two, Hemel Hempstead. In lane number six, we have Tring. In lane three, Potter's Bar. Lane number five is the city of St. Albans. And in lane number four, Hatfield. Over to you, referee. Good start from Charlotte Williams and Ellie Hollis of Hatfield and the city of St. Albans. Something tells me that this is going to be a very tight race between these two teams. But we certainly shouldn't discount Potter's Bar in lane number three or indeed any of the teams here. But it does look like Charlotte Williams is just in front of Ellie Hollis of the city of St. Albans here. At the turn though, they're going to be touching almost simultaneously. Look at that, not much in it at all. Point one at two between them. Hatfield in first, City of St. Albans in second, Watford B in third. But powering through here, Erin O'Mara for the City of St. Albans seems to have just pushed in front of Lily Blount of Hatfield, but not by very much here. And I don't think actually that that distance is necessarily sufficient as we come to the halfway stage the city of St. Albans take the lead not by very much Hatfield in second Potter's Bar still in third but we have Hannabrook for the city of St. Albans Louise Fittis in lane number four now Louise Fittis what a great swimmer she's done a fantastic championships and certainly she is most likely to be able to catch up here but it does look like Hannabrook is managing to hold off any threat from that Louise Fittis poses Going in for the city of St. Albans is Florence Crowley. Second for Hatfield is Jessica Woodward, who is now speeding through this for 50 meters for herself, easily overtaking Florence Crowley of the city of St. Albans here. Jessica Woodward up in front. What a distance that she has been able to grow over the last 50 meters. Final few strokes here for Jessica Woodward who touches very easily, 150.84 for Hatfield. The city of St. Albans there, two seconds behind, 152.76. And third, well, third goes to Potter's Bar. If you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the side, please, ladies, that would be greatly appreciated so that we can get underway quickly.
We now move on to event 657, the men's age group 200 meter freestyle team relay. In lane number five, Harpenden. In lane three, Chessant. And in lane number four, Tring. Over to you, referee. Well, that was a great start from Joshua Tack of Tring there in lane number four. Easily putting about, uh, well, nearly exactly five seconds in between him and Chessant in lane number three. Harpenden are in third position here. But still in front at the halfway stage is Tring. They're going to be turning on a time of 107.73. Second, Harpenden looks to be able to push up into that position. And third is now Chessant. We're on the final leg now, 50 metres to go, and Tring are still in the lead, albeit that lead between them and Harpenden of about five to four seconds has shrunk. It's now about three, but it certainly looks like Louis Finnan is doing his absolute best to catch Tring in lane number four. Chessence, Ryan Wimpenny also doing very well here. It's going to be very tight between them, but I don't think anyone is going to be able to catch James Herbert of Tring, who touches first, 222.97. Second, that goes to Chessence, 227.25. And Harpenden gets third, 228.58. Well done, gentlemen. If you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the scoreboard side, and we can then move on to heat number two. We now move on to heat number two. In lane number eight, Verulam. In lane number one, we have the city of St. Albans B. In lane seven, Watford. In lane number two, Bishop Stortford. In lane number six, Potter's Bar. In lane three, Hatfield B. In lane five, Hatfield A. And in lane number four, the city of St. Albans. Over to you, referee.
Louis Robson starting in lane number four for the city of St Albans. It looks like he's got the team off to a great start. So has Dylan Davenport of Bishop Stalford in lane number two. It's a battle between Louis and Dylan in four and two. As we approach to go on to the second leg, the city of St Albans just just in front there. Bishop Stortford in second. Third goes to Hatfield at, at the moment. But the city of St Albans under Zach Fellows seems to be widening that lead between them and Bishop Stortford. Elliot Hall doing his best here, as is William Lockwood of Hatfield to bring the team up into second position there. But the City of St. Albans at the 100 metre mark, the halfway stage, are still in front. Hatfield in second, Potter's Bar in third. Bishop Stortford now dropping down into fourth. Chetkin Lau, though, of the City of St. Albans. He's doing very well here. He's managing to hold off any threat from Hatfield, Bishop Stortford, or Potter's Bar as the final swimmer. Luke Bernard goes on to the final leg. He's got 50 metres to go. Hatfield's Luke Peterson is right on his tail. He's chasing him down as is Kaiba Patel of Potter's Bar in lane number six. But it doesn't look like anyone might be able to catch the city of St. Albans and Luke Bernard here. They had a very strong first leg and they have carried on that strength throughout the race as they touch 159.89, going sub two minutes there. Hatfield in second, 202.4, and Potter's Bar, well, they touch third, 205.75. And that concludes, no, we uh, have the City of St. Albans B, 221.00, and that concludes heat number two of the relay, and, and we will await the confirmation of the official result, but if you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the sides, thank you. Well, we're just taking a short technical delay, but Summers, it's great to see you getting right behind your teams. So carry that through the rest of the session, if you would, as we just sort out this short technical delay.
Next time I will go in, I can assure you of that, Mr. Referee. <laughs> Let's get back to the swing then. Event 658, the women's junior 200 meter medley team relay. In lane number one, we have Harpenden. In lane number seven, where? In lane number two, Tring B. In lane six, Bushy. In lane number three, the city of St. Albans B. In lane five, Verulam. And in lane number four, Tring. Over to you, referee. A good start here from Tring in lane number four, and that is Talia Williams. The city of St Albans is Sophie Coleman, though, in lane three. is very, very close to Talia, as is Florence Dyer of Verulam in five. And indeed, Grace Ball of Bushy in lane number six. But as we come to the end of the backstroke leg and move on to the breaststroke, it does look like Bushy uh, Tring are just in the lead there. Bushy in second. The city of St Albans are in third here. Tring are still in the lead. Bushy in second. The city of St Albans are in third, but Verulam are coming up on the right-hand side, as are Tring B in lane number two. But at the halfway stage then, we still have Tring in front. Bushy in second, Verulam in third now, the city of St. Albans being knocked down to fourth. Tring have substantially widened the gap now. It's going to take, well, it's going to take a miracle, quite frankly, for Bushy to be able to come back. Five seconds between them. Verulam are now in third. The city of St. Albans still in fourth. But no one is going to be able to catch Verity Billingham of Tring in lane number four. They have led the way for quite a substantial period of time here on the heat number one. And they're going to be touching first. 216.73, that's the time to beat. Second goes to Bushy and third to Verulam. Well done, swimmers. If we could exit the pool via the sides, via the scoreboard side, that'd be fantastic. We now move on to heat number two at the women's junior 4x50 metre medley team relay. In the number eight, we have Royston. In lane one, Stevenage. In lane number seven, we have Potter's Bar. 
in lane two, Hatfield. In lane six, the city of St Albans. In lane three, we have Bishop Stortford. In lane number five, Hatfield. And in lane number four, Watford. Over to you, referee. Phoebe Matthews of Hatfield and Sophie Hollis of the City of St Albans battling it out here. But on the other side of the pool of Hatfield B, we have Erin Curry, who's currently in the lead. Hatfield B in front of Hatfield A. But after 50 metres, Hatfield B in first, City of St Albans in second, Hatfield in third, Watford not too far behind, nor is Stevenage or Bishop Stortford. But Scarlett Harrison Morona of Hatfield in lane number two, she is managing to maintain that lead for the B team. Hatfield's Alice Green in Hatfield A is still in second. The City of St Albans with Georgina Hamilton dropping down into third. But Hatfield A are closing in on Hatfield B at the turn. Let's see what happens. Hatfield A retake the lead, not by very much. Hatfield B in second, Bishop Stalford now in third, Watford fourth, City of St Albans dropping down into fifth. But Hannah Cushion of Hatfield seems to be cementing that lead in front of the B team here. Eva Glynn doing her best, no, well, goodness me, Eva Glynn here is in first position, Hatfield B are in front. Who's going to win this final 50 here for Hatfield A and B? The B team touch first. A team in second, Bishop Stalford in third here. But Camryl Veneer of Hatfield B and Megan Gray of Hatfield A are battling it out here. It's going to be tight on the turn, but just in front it looks to be Megan Gray of Hatfield A who's right in front, not by very much, but she is going to be taking the win here in front of the B team. And it's going to be Hatfield A, 208.73. The B team touch, 210 dead. And third goes to Watford, 211.18. But we could have had, we could have had the position where Hatfield B were in front of Hatfield A. But I'm sure the coaches and the sewers will be glad that that was not the case today. Ladies, if you wouldn't mind exiting the ball via the side on the scoreboard end. Thank you. I have a notice of disqualification. That's a notice of disqualification for event 658, heat one, lane six, for a technical infraction. That's event 658, heat one, lane six, for a technical infraction. We now move on to event 659, the men's championship 4x50 meter freestyle relay team. In lane number seven, we have Potter's Bar B. In lane two, Stevenage. In lane six, we have Ware. In lane three, Potter's Bar. In lane number five, Bushy. And in lane number four, Watford. Over to you, referee.
So these competitors are going to be racing for a spot in the championship final in very, very soon indeed. Benjamin Green leading the way for Watford, but Ashley Coombs of Bushy is in first at the touch then. Ashley Coombs touches first Bushy, Watford in second, Potter's Bar A in third, followed closely by Potter's Bar B. But looking towards the front of the pool, it looks like Watford's Lewis Shaler is in front, managing to pull in front of Daniel Ord of Bushy in lane number five. No, uh, Jake Moore. Or Potter's Bar wants to get in on the action. Watford are in front. Bushy in second. Potter's Bar in still in third. Not too much change or divergence from the previous 50 metres. Watford now, that is Matthew Aldrin. He's still in front here. He's, if anything, increased the lead of Watford. Bushy's Alex Twyford doing his best to hold on to second position. But Jack Barnard of Potter's Bar, he's also coming up on the left-hand side. Final 50 metres now. Luke Flynn in for Watford there. He's turning onto his final 25 metres. Bushy's Thomas Jobson doing his best, as is Adam Martin here. But Luke Flynn there, touching first. 1-3-39.09. Bushy touched second, 1-41. Point one one and Potter's Bar 141.74. That secures them third position here. If you wouldn't mind, gentlemen, exiting the pool via the scoreboard side, that would be appreciated. We now move on to heat number two, in lane number eight, Verulam. In lane number one, Tring. In lane seven, Watford B. In lane two, Harpenden. In lane number six, we have the city of St. Albans B. In lane three, the city of St. Albans. In lane five, Hatfield. And in lane number four, Bishop Stortford. Over to you, referee.
Well, and they're finally in here. It looks like a good start from Callum Wollaston of the city of St. Albans B. Nathaniel Mapley in lane three. Cal Bishop Sorbets, Callum Davis and Joshua Ellis in four and five. Also doing very well here. Callum Davis of Bishop Sorbet, he's leading the way. But actually, no, Callum Wollaston of the city of St. Albans B. He's going to be touching first, pushing them in front. First is city of St. Albans B. Bishop Sorbet in second. Costa in third. Where is Hatfield? Still in front though is the City of St. Albans B. They're followed by Bishop Sorbet and the City of St. Albans A. It looks like they're gaining on that. Bishop Sorbet's Callum Cox here. He's possibly going to be touching in front here. It's going to be very tight. But my goodness me, the City of St. Albans B are still in front. Bishop Sorbet in second. City of St. Albans in third. There we are, Hatfield in fourth. But still in front is the City of St. Albans B with Enzo Lim in lane number seven. Jago Darrington of Bishop Norman, he's pushed them just in front. The City of St. Albans Bay doing their best to catch up. Look at that, not much in it at all. For the City of St. Albans B, we have William. We have Daniel Hollis here. He's going to certainly be giving Sammy Zamani a run for his money here, as is William Luppen of the City of St. Albans A, who's coming up on the left-hand side. It's going to be very tight. It's going to be on the turn. Who is going to get it? Bishop Sorford look confident, and they win. 142.23. Second goes to the City of St. Albans B. My goodness me. How close was that? 142.38. And the City of St. Albans B, who were leading the way, they get third. 142.77. Goodness me, that was exhilarating. That was incredibly exciting. And we've got more of that to come with the championship finals in a very short while indeed. So, gents, if you wouldn't mind exiting the ball via the site, we will now be taking a short break to ensure that our championship finalists, they are able to rehydrate, recover a little bit, and we look forward to welcoming you back for that in about 10 to 15 minutes. We move on to our first final of the day, event 660, the Mixed Championship 4x50 metre freestyle relay team. In lane number eight, we have the City of St Albans B, Guy Munzer, William Loveman, Hannah Brook and Florence Crowley. In lane number one, Hemel Hempstead, Matthias Morse, Madison Whitaker, Reese Housden and Emily Young. In lane seven, Watford, Benjamin Green, Lewis Shaler, Abigail Green and Sophia Pache. In lane number two, we have Bushy, Ashley Coombs, Thomas Jobson, Rebecca Kerwan, and Alison Bins. In lane six, Charlotte Williams, Ben Davidson, Jessica Woodward, and Jason Ho. It is, of course, Hatfield. In lane number three, from Bishop Stalford, Callum Davis, Millie Fields, Mesha Tread Evans, and Sammy Zamani. In lane number five, from Potter's Bar, Noah Cornwell, Georgina Talon, Jessica Bright, and Adam Martin. And the fastest qualifier for this relay, the City of St. Albans A, Nathaniel Mapley, Arvin Rodriguez, Erin O'Mara, and Ellie Hollis. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your finalists for the Mixed Championship 4x50 metre freestyle relay team. Over to you, referee. Undoubtedly, these swimmers will be quite tired after the session this morning. 
But it's a great start from Noah Cornwell of Potter's Bar in lane number five. He's joined by Nathaniel Mapley of the city of St. Albans in lane four. But out on the other side, Ashley Coombs of Bushy in lane two, also doing very well here. Not much in it at all between these swimmers. Watford touch first, Bushy in second, Bishop Stalford in third, but there is still all to play for. But Lewis Shaler of Watford in lane number seven, he is speeding away, as is Thomas Jobson in lane number two. But up first, it is still Watford, Bushy in second, third is going to the city of St. Albans, it would seem. Watford at the halfway stage are in the lead. 48.65, Bushy in second, the city of St. Albans still in third here, but they seem to be overtaking Bushy, Jessica Woodward of Hatfield in lane number six, she's also coming up on the left hand side, Watford though are still in front, the city of St. Albans in second, Bushy in third, but not for long as Jessica Woodward and Hatfield come up on the left hand side, Final 50 metres now for Watford Swimming Club in lane seven. Sophia Pache will be hoping to bring it home for Watford, but Hemel Hempstead now moving up into second. Costa still in third, Hatfield in fourth. At the turn then, it's so tight between Costa, Hatfield, Hemel Hempstead and Watford. It's going to be so, so close. City of St. Albans just in front, but can Jason Ho, bring it home. Who's going to get a touch? Oh, goodness me, so, so, so close. 0.04 there, but Hatfield, they get the touch. 145.38, they are the county champions for this relay. City of St. Albans there, a very close run second. 145.42, and Potter's Bar, they come out of nowhere. They get third position there, 145.7. What an exhilarating race. If the next two finals are like that, goodness me, we'll all be going home and we'll all be remembering this finals session. So, ladies, gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the scoreboard side so we can get underway with the next final. We now move on to event 661, the Women's Championship 4x50m freestyle relay team. In lane number 8, we have Bushy, Rebecca Kerwan, Abby Griffiths, Alison Binns, and Jessica Pressland. In lane 1, Hemel Hempstead, Madison Whitaker, Isabella O'Leary, Madison Wiles, and Emily Young. In lane 7, Harpenden. Lucinda Stanley, Emma Craig, Charlotte Gates, and Isabella Chapman. In lane number two, we have Watford. Abigail Green, Sophia Pache, Francesca Pache, and Amy Borum. In lane number six, we have Potter's Bar. Jessica Bright, Keely White, Jessica Heesom, and Georgina Tallon. In lane number three, we have the city of St. Albans. Ellie Hollis, Erin O'Mara, Hannah Brooke, and Florence Crowley. In lane number five, we have Bishop Stalford, Millie Fields, Emma Fields, Mesha Tread Evans, and Neve James. And in lane number four, and our fastest qualifiers, Hatfield, Charlotte Williams, Lily Bounce, Louise Phillips, and Jessica Woodford. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your finalists for the Women's Championship 4x50m freestyle team relay. Over to you, referee. It certainly is worth saying that the majority of these ladies have just won in the mixed relay team. 
So their arms are going to be very, very tired indeed. But Charlotte Williams in lane four at Hatfield, a good start from her. Millie Fields, though, Elf Bishop Sorbonne. Now she's had a very good championship. She seems to be putting bottles, but, um, Bishop Sorbonne in one of the top positions here. As is Ellie Hollis in lane at number three, but Hatfield touched first. Bishop Stalford in second, Costa in third. Look at that though, not much in it between Lily Browns and Emma Fields in four and five. Eleanor of the city of St. Albans in three, certainly wanting to get in on the action. And she is starting to come up on the left-hand side of Lily Browns. But it seems that Lily and Hatfield are able to hold off any threat Thus far, as we come to the halfway stage, Hatfield still in front, Bishop Stalford still in second, and the city of St Albans in third. Mesher Tread Evans here. That she is going to be aiming to hold on to this position for Bishop Stalford, but certainly we have Louise Phyllis of Hatfield, who's doing very well indeed, as is Hannah Brooke of the city of St. Albans, who's brought them up into second position here. Bishop Stalford is still in, sec in third now. Hatfield touch first. The city of St. Albans in second. And Jessica Woodward, who has just done an absolutely amazing last 50 metre on that last relay, is coming and bringing it home for Hatfield here. No one's going to be able to beat Jessica Woodward, not even Florence Carley and Neve James of the City of St. Albans and Bishop Stalford. Jessica Woodward going to be taking the touch here for Hatfield. 150.26. Second goes to Bishop Stalford. Neve James bringing them the silver medal there. 152.78. And the City of St. Albans there touching in third with a 154.24. Ladies, great swimming, if you wouldn't mind exiting the pool via the side. We are now on to the last final of today's session, event 662, the men's championship 4 by 50 meter freestyle team relay. In lane number 8 is Watford B, Alexander Olami, Patrick Kavar, Enzo Lim and William Buckley. In lane 1, Hatfield, Joshua Ellis, Luke Payne, Jason Ho and Ben Davidson. In lane two, where with Nicholas Sinclair, Tobias Sinclair, Atakinto, and Charles Sinclair. In lane number two is the city of St. Albans B, Callum Wollaston, Ethan Ivor Chapman, Alexander Cowboy, and Daniel Hollis. In lane number six, the city of St. Albans A, Nathaniel Mapley, Guy Munster, Arvin Rodriguez, and William Loveman. In lane number three, we have Bishop Stalford with Callum Davis, Callum Cox, Jago Terrington, and Sammy Zermani. In lane number five, we have Potter's Bar, Noah Cornwell, Jake Moore, Jack Barnard, and Adam Martin. And the fastest qualifiers for this event is Bushy, Ashley Coombs, Daniel Ord, Alex Twyford, and Thomas Jobson. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the men's championship. 4 by 50 meter freestyle team relay. Over to you, referee. These gentlemen, these chaps are going to be looking for the bragging rights here. Who is going to take the victory? Who is going to be county champion? It's a very strong start from all of these gentlemen, including Ashley Coombs, Noah Corner, and Callum Davis in four, five, and three. 
Ashley Coombs managing to hold off any threat, but Callum Wilson of the City of Central was in lane two. He's doing very well. Indeed, Bushy still in first, Costa B in second, Potters Bar in third with Bishop Sorbet in fourth. It's going to be oh so tight. But in the water at the moment, we have Daniel Ord of Bushy. Jake Moore for Potter's Bar in lane at number five. And even I thought Chapman for the City of St. Albans be in lane number two. But it does look like Callum Cox, Earl Bishop Storman is also doing there. Look at that. Five teams all in near succession. Bushy, Bishop Storman, City of St. Albans B, City of St. Albans A, Potter's Bar. Who is going to take the goal? We're over the halfway stage here, and it looks like Armin Rodriguez of the City of St. Albans is helping to push them through. But it also looks like Alex Twyford or Bushy, he's doing very well. He's managing to put it on. Could Bushy or Bushy win this? Who knows? Bushy in first, City of St. Albans A in second, Bishop Stalford in third here. It looks like Bushy certainly could win, but the City of St. Albans, William Loveman looking to bring it home, as is and Daniel Hollis and Sammy Zamani. But Bushy here, they might just win this. City of St. Albans in second, Bishop Stalford in third, but Bushy are the county champions. 140.16, they take the goal. The city of St. Albans, a so closely behind them. 141.06, that gets them the silver. And third, well, that goes to Potter's Bar, 141.51. But look, goodness me, it's actually joint third. One for Bishop Storbert and Potter's Bar, 141.51. Of course, that will be subject to confirmation from our officials. But my goodness me, ladies and gentlemen, now that was exciting. Five teams all in quick succession. That is how a relay should be swum. That is spectator sport, ladies and gentlemen. And that concludes the Swingland Hertfordshire County Championships 2022 for today, session number 12. Once again, just to thank all of the officials and our fantastic volunteers, without whom this event wouldn't occur. So thank you for you giving up your time today. Of course, you can catch up to with all of the action from today and previous sessions on the Swingland Hertfordshire YouTube channel, as well as viewing all of the live results and the results from past sessions on Sports Systems. But it leads me to wish you, well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us here in Boreham and of course, those on the live stream. And for those who are traveling, on behalf of Swingland Hertfordshire, we wish you a very, very safe journey home. Thank you.